Phonema, my daughter is using differentials for regular use and no glasses when working on a phone iPad. For a differential, she does active focus to see her school board. She finds it very difficult to change differential and normalize in school, so she's wearing differentials. Is, is that okay? Um, Paca hasn't reduced, but it hasn't increased as well. It's almost 10 months since we started. So for kids, it is a giant pain to make them wear two pairs of glasses. It, kids is generally a topic that I am hesitant to talk about because every year in a child's development is seemingly a separate story, right? Because there's so much else going on. When they're, when they're small, their, their motor skills are developing. So eyes are really important, like good eyesight is really important. So they wander around there. Well, their social skills are developing. There's so much else going on that doesn't happen with adults. So I'm always like, wow, that's a, it's a deep rabbit hole to talk about kids' eyesight because I am not an expert on all the other things that happened. Um, fun fact, I spent some time with a child psychiatrist working with them together years ago, and I've learned so many things that made me go, woof, with kids. Prioritizing their development, their healthy social integration, their healthy physical movement development over activities that as adults are easier for us to to integrate because they have so much else going on so for example in a case like this making your kid go to school and have two pairs of glasses might be might be right like i don't know but as i'm looking at it from where i went to school or as i'm exposed to kids in school you do not want to have your kid be bullied mercilessly by their classmates right kids are vicious because they have two pairs of glasses and they keep changing them could be worth the compromise to just say what's an in-between like what can i read the school board with but i can also read it also works for screen if differentials work then differentials are great problem with differentials is the distance is made for screen distance now what if your classmate you know on the other end of of the room is smiling at you and she can't make out their face then she seems antisocial might get shot out of the group do we now prioritize that they develop socially normally or try to prevent myopia from increasing, right? Like, and I would say you want to be super careful as a parent and it's a parenting job. Like that's not something I can tell you. And I'm super not wanting to get in the middle of that because that is such a big responsibility. If it was my kid, I would very much prioritize. You can see, well, this is not traumatizing for you. This is not like a ridiculous effort. But I, as a parent, know the general direction, right? So in the evening, we're not watching movies on iPad. We're watching a movie on the TV. If on the weekends, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you install TikTok on your phone. We're gonna go find hobbies that you enjoy. You know, like me personally with kids, my kids, like as soon as they're old enough, they're gonna learn kite surfing. I'm gonna make the extra effort to live somewhere where they can do stuff. They're gonna get kids jujitsu classes. I'm going to try to find things that make the life default, not the screen. And then I'm not going to mess with them when it comes to their peer group and glasses. Even though I know you really should be wearing lower adopter glasses while you're looking at your schoolwork and the high adopter glasses while you're looking at, at the school board. I know I'm not going to make you do that because that's just going to be rough. right? As a parent, you really kind of have to go, okay, long-term, right? I'm going to get the child back to 2020, but short-term, I'm not going to mess up the rest of the life of the day. Hopefully not too long, my answer's here. Meow, 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 meow.